Are you wondering how to come up with ideas to create idea pins? Do you want to create content for your business or for yourself as a creator, but have no idea how to begin creating? Well, I've got it. My name is Teresa Toledo. I am a Pinterest expert strategist. I'm also a content creator who struggled to start creating content, but have now created hundreds and hundreds of content pieces on all platforms. If that's what you want to do, make sure to follow and watch until the end. Now, creating content can be hard. I know that first-hand experience here. Sometimes you just don't know what to do. You don't know what to talk about. You don't even know how to begin, but that's okay. If that's something you struggle with, here is my process for coming up with ideas to create content for Pinterest idea pins. Now, this is not fancy, okay, but it's highly efficient. Trust me on this one. This process will help you come up with content ideas in minutes. That's the exact process that I use for myself and teach my clients. Now, step one, it's the brainstorming process. Very first part of the process. Now, if all the ideas are running through your mind like crazy racing, you may need to do a brain dump or a garage of ideas first. What does that mean? You need to sit down and write everything you're thinking, clear your mind. If the thought of creating idea pins give you anxiety, take a moment and breathe. Now, once you're in a good place and you've cleaned up your mind, you just have to write. You can start using a notebook or using a doc. Write down a few ideas that make you feel comfortable about. Uh, write down about what you know. Write down about your product, your service, your expertise. Think about things that you can share and teach, something that you know well. Now, you want to create good content that brings value to your audience. Sometimes you may feel like those topics that you know so much about are so basic for you and you think that people are not going to be interested in. But actually, people need those topics. They need this knowledge from you. You can create content that teaches them, that shows them how to do it, and this you give them value. They need this value. They need your knowledge. So as you're working on coming up with ideas, you should aim to come up with five to 10 ideas. Just write them down. Ideas that work for one person may not work as well for another. That's okay. But some ideas will go over really well, no matter what you do. Now, if you're a business owner who makes a product, go behind the scenes. Talk about different types of your products that you have. Talk about certain aspects of how your product can be chosen and be used and share things that make your product unique and gives the client good options. This type of material goes over well in any platform. So you could easily repurpose those videos that you will be creating. Now, once you have between five and 10 topics, I want you to move to step two. Step two. Now it's time to choose the idea. So you pretty much wrote down things that you could be talking about, you could be recording, you could be showcasing, you could be sharing. Now, once you've written them down, go over them and see which ones make more sense to you. Sometimes uh, we can write everything and not everything goes. They need, it needs a little bit of tweak. Now do this right away because the longer you wait to do this, the easier it is to lose confidence in your ideas and start thinking that they sound silly or dumb. This happens to me all the time. So make sure to choose your ideas right away. Now, once you chose and you marked your favorites, I want you to start breaking them down uh, to their basics and expanding them into something that you can film or create as a pin. Think about the parts of each idea. Now, it can be a helpful thing to create a step-by-step -step instruction list first that will give you structure to the script. Then I want you to figure out how you're gonna get your message across. Are you gonna prop up your phone and show what you're doing? Are you going to be creating images for each step of the process? Are you gonna have different recordings? Are you going to show your face? Are you gonna talk to the camera? The decision to show your face is an important one, but it's totally up to you. People like when you show your face and use your voice in your content because that will help people connect with you. That creates parasocial relations. That makes people trust you. 
people connect with faces and voice don't forget that but if you are not ready to do that if you don't feel comfortable showing your face that is okay you can just record the process and do a voiceover videos where you're showing your hands or doing a voiceover do really well people connect with your voice now step three make sure to keep watching the last step is actually the most important now step three is about designing the idea this may sound a little fancy but it's not fancy trust me once you've chosen the idea that you're gonna record right now the idea that you're gonna do first you need to kind of design your video what does that mean you should pretty much settle how you want to bring your vision to life before you start recording uh, as it's this is going to make the process much easier some people are okay with just turning on the camera and doing it but having a little bit of structure will help you you need to ask yourself a few questions and make choices about how you are expecting this content to turn out uh, are you going to use music uh, are you gonna be using a special lighting? Are you gonna be using effects? Are you gonna be using transitions? Now in the music, don't forget, Pinterest doesn't love copyrighted music. You need to have the rights for your music, especially if this is for the Creator uh, Rewards program. Now, are you gonna need props? Are you gonna be doing this outside? Do you, uh, what is the lighting gonna be like? Is it daytime? Are you gonna use natural light like I'm using here? Or if it's night, do you have a ring light or a light fixture at home? Another important question that you're gonna need to answer is how are you going to record? With Idea Pins, you can record straight on the Pinterest app. You don't need a fancy camera. You can also record your phone camera and then upload the videos to Pinterest or to an app or software such as Canva where you can do some edits. Whatever you do, choose the recording method that works best for you, that makes you feel more comfortable and don't overthink. Now step four, step four can feel boring. You know, I, I hate doing it, but it helps me a lot and it will help you too. It is creating the script. You don't have to write a perfect script, okay? But it helps to write down what you're gonna say to the camera. If you write a little script, you can avoid the, mm, uh, mm, the verbal distractions and you can feel more confident about just saying what you want. Even if you're gonna read it, that's okay. If you're talking straight to the camera, it can help you to have that script handy. But if you are recording with your hands, it is okay. You can pretty much do a voiceover later, but you still wanna have a script, it, a script so you can read it while doing the voiceover. Now, this is the most important step, step five, right? This is very obvious, but that's the one that you really need to be doing no matter what, even if you skip off the other ones. And it is to record. Now, at this point, you've came up with your idea and you visualized it. So you have to record. It doesn't matter how good your idea is if you don't record it. When it comes to recording, you may end up taking more than one take to get the results that you want. But you don't have to make your videos perfect, okay? The point here is to get it done and not to make it perfect. Don't get too caught up in making a million takes because then you're never going to create your pin. It is a process and it's okay to go through a lot of trial and error. The key is to not give up and in no time you realize that you've done it and you created a great idea pin. Your first videos may not be impressive, that's okay, but nobody's looking for perfection. The more times you follow this process, the more times you do, the easier it gets. The key is to get your content out there, to record your ideas and to share it to the world. Now, are you ready for more Pinterest marketing tips and ideas? Well, if so, make sure to subscribe and watch my next video.